For more, we're joined by Brooke Day, Portfolio Manager at Goldman Sachs Asset Management. Brooke, good to have you on. I'm looking Fine, at the names of the nine. You got three chips, three clouds, three data. Some yeah. of them make sense to me. The one that's, please, it's expound on Accenture as an AI yeah. play. <clears throat> sure. So, you know, as we think about the opportunity for investing in AI, first off, we're very early in this process, and we're just at the point where you're beginning to see enterprises really engage in how they're going to use AI and Gen AI specifically across their businesses. As part of that process, and as you think about the, the kind of the value chain of investing in AI, the first has been this big infrastructure wave, and that's largely what we saw last year with companies like NVIDIA and a lot of the chip sector doing very well. The next has obviously been the big cloud guys who are going to run all these workloads. But we think the next leg of this story is really going to be focused on the data layer. And there's a couple of different companies that we think are really very well exposed to that. But Accenture is a prime example of this. For enterprises to tune and train AI models on their own proprietary data, the first thing they need to do is get that data estate in a, in a form and a shape where um, they can tap into it and they can uh, you know, train these models on it. Accenture talks about how less than 10 percent of their enterprise customers have a modern data architecture across their systems. Mm. And their consulting teams are, you know, a big driver of getting that data in the right format so that you can use these models. I've so, heard yeah, of... we do think that it's a hidden you know, kind of AI play as we move out across the next year. Right, well, stock's up today. I've, I've heard of Zscaler, but I'm not going to offend our audience by saying I know anything about them. ZS, <laughs> kind of vague idea what they do. How do they fit into this? So the other part of data is data security and thinking about, you know, making sure that the data that you have can't leak out of your enterprise and can't go inform these public models and, uh, and you know, leak into your competitive universe. So Zscaler is one of the leaders in next generation cybersecurity. Um, you know, they have a great zero trust architecture, uh, modern platforms. And, you know, again, as companies think about how do they take advantage of these super powerful tools, data governance, data protection, data securities are big parts of that. So we do think this is going to benefit the cybersecurity world as well. And then, you know, the second leg to the whole stool on cybersecurity is just that the threat environment is radically changing as we sit here today. And, and the, you know, the, the risks that you as an enterprise run from bad actors, you know, is just going up exponentially. So yeah. all that sets a really nice backdrop for cybersecurity. And obviously spending. the chips have been benefiting. Everybody knows NVIDIA. Everybody knows AMD. Let's talk about Marvel, not Marvel, not the superhero, you know, comic book <laughs> Disney thing. This is Marvel, a chip yeah. company. Again, one of these names where I've been talking about them for 20 years, still probably could not tell you what they do. Yeah. So first of all, we do think Marvel is a superhero. Uh, it's a fantastic. I knew your guy was a good one. That was the, nice. Yeah, I like you know, that. You set me up for that one, so I'll take credit there. But um, look, you know, so where Marvel plays in the AI universe is kind of twofold. First, their optics portfolio sits on top of every uh, uh, AI server out there, and it's the connection that lets the data flow server to server. And you know, their their tie to NVIDIA GPUs is very high in terms of sort of a one to one ratio. So they're going to see a real benefit across time in their optics portfolio as these AI servers get rolled out into the data centers. That's what we think happens largely in 2024. The other really exciting part of Marvell, though, is the ASIC business that they run, where they're working with some of the largest cloud scale players to develop custom chips to run AI workloads. You know, we do think that that's going to be a big driver and is going to create an opportunity for them to gain real share on the server side uh, with, the, in, with their chips. Marvell, Accenture, Zscaler, Snowflake, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, AMD, and MU, and a partridge in a pear tree. Brooke Dane, thank you. Fascinating stuff.